guys, Vikas over here and this is Vyar Genius. Guys, today we are going to check this device over here that is the Sonoff TH10 that is a smart switch from iKit. So there are actually different uh, like variants of Sonoff modules available from iKit like uh, smart bulbs, smart switches and all. And this particular variant over here is uh, the TH10 that supports the humidity and temperature measurement as well as it supports a current of up to 10 amperes there is another variant of this which supports a current of up to 16 amperes so this allows to control a load by using smartphone over the wi-fi and as well as this uh, enables us to like trigger the switching of the device by taking the temperature or humidity into the account so let's see how it works and we'll control this uh, load over here that is the bulb uh, by using this one and our Android smartphone. So now let's open it up. And this is the uh, like smart switch itself. And over here you find a button and and couple of LEDs below this icon, Wi-Fi icon over here. And in this side you get a connector that you can use to connect any suitable sensor that the device supports, like. DSB 18B20 that is the temperature sensor or DHT22 that is the temperature and humidity sensor along with others and in this side you get the like AC input and AC output the device doesn't need external power supply because it gets its supply from the AC input itself so you don't need to plug in other supply to run it and this button over here can be used to, to switch the module or the smart switch into configuration mode so let's connect our load and we'll get into you know, the app site we'll try to configure the app and as well as the module and we'll try to control the particular load so to do that just open up this site and you'll find like uh, six connectors over here those are for line in line out neutral in neutral out and arthing in and out so i'll just connect my input over here like on line in so that's pretty much all about like connecting uh, the load I have not used the art because over here uh, it is I am just setting for demo purpose so if you are like going for permanent installation make sure you use earthing to avoid socket and other hazards and before like uh, connecting it make sure you are aware of electrical uh, then connection and all because if you are uh, like new to this you may get shock and all so before plugging uh, plugging in the supply to this module let's connect the load over here that is i am connecting a bulb and uh, make sure everything all right you don't have like any cable or anything exposed because that may lead to shock okay. Just going to put this again. So we have connected the load and we have uh, like uh, made an input cable over here. So before connecting it to the power, let's go ahead and install the app that is required to control and configure this smart switch. So the app is both available for both uh, like Android as well as iOS. And over here, as I am having an Android smartphone, I'll, I need to install the app for the Android one. So you can do that by scanning the QR code over here on the package itself. Or you can simply navigate to the Play Store and install it there. So on Play Store, you can simply search for Sonoff. And uh, let's go through it. Sonoff. and you will find something like EWE link just click on it and just hit on install actually I have already installed so it is showing on the open only so let's open up the app and before going into configuration make sure you have internet connectivity on your Wi-Fi network as well as on your phone and your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network so let's connect it to my Wi-Fi network over here that is we are genius yeah now I'm going to connect this smart switch to the power outlet 
and after it power on you can see a blue LED blinking over here now uh, we need to configure it to make it, uh, make it to make it able to control by the smartphone so to do that press the button over here for five to seven seconds and you will see the blue LED blinking effect has changed and it will blink for three times and it will remain on for some time so now on your phone connect on the add icon and on the phone itself you'll see a green blinking dot on device then click on next provide your Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password and make sure your Wi-Fi name is like not containing any other character other than numbers and like letters so it may take some time yep now you can see the device has been successfully registered so give it a name let's say I want to give it name demo load and hit on completed and it will show a message added successfully click on ok and you can find the device listed over here and one thing uh, you have to do is after uh, like opening up the app if you are using this for first time you need to register it by using your mobile number and providing some password so actually I already did that so uh, that's why it didn't show me the registration and login option so you can check over here uh, this is my like login credential my phone number and all so let's try to control this load by using this app and you can see currently it is off and as soon as I hit the on button the bulb started glowing that means it's made it on I can see again it is on Uh, it is showing operation failed yep it is working so it is pretty much controllable by the load and actually I am losing connection sometime because I am just running on a 2G network over here that might be slow that's why I am sometimes losing the connection and it is not able to operate but uh, with high speed network I think it will not happen now let's check another aspect of this that is it is uh, like able to measure temperature and humidity so over here I don't have any humidity sensor right now but I am having this DS18B20 temperature sensor over here so you just need to plug it to over here and I have plugged in sensor and on the app you just need to get into this demo load Uh, you can uh, like uh, temperature set temperature uh, range where you want to make it on or off or uh, something is happening right and currently you can see it is showing me the temperature right now that is 29 degrees Celsius and that is 84 degree Fahrenheit so I can uh, just set it into auto mode or manual mode to control the load let's say my temperature is higher than uh, 29 degrees the load will on if it goes higher than 30 degree, I want to make the bulb off so like that you can do and other thing is uh, if you are like so over here we are connected to a bulb uh, but if you are let's say connected to a fan or something so depending upon temperature you can make it on or off so if that is required and one more aspect is you can have a like timer so you can add a timer schedule or something like every day at, uh, like morning 5 o'clock you want to make something on or morning uh, 6 o'clock you want to make something off so that can also be done and other things over here you can have a countdown timer so after a certain time you can make it on or off so let's try to control this load from internet actually I'm going to uh, disconnect my mobile phone from my local Wi-Fi network and I'll be connected to GPRS or the 3G network over here 
now i am uh, not connected through wi-fi i am just connected to internet and this module over here is connected to internet through my wi-fi network or home network so let's see if it works I can make it on and off uh, by using the internet. So like this, you can control your load from anywhere. And one more thing that is to be tested is, uh, let's say I make uh, internet connectivity to this off, uh, if uh, this works with local network or not. Now I have cut down the internet supply to my this module over here. This is simply connected to the local Wi-Fi. And again, let's try to connect the phone to the local Wi-Fi and let's see if it is like able to control the load by without using internet so as you can see uh, we are not able to control the load because uh, my uh, smart switch is not connected to internet so to use it you all the time it requires internet so if you don't have internet connection at the time it might not be able to control the load so that's something it uh, has a limitation like if you don't have internet on both the devices you can't control it even if you are connected to same Wi-Fi network and one more thing about this uh, smart switch is you can uh, configure itself you can reprogram the uh, Wi-Fi module over here and it is in the ESP Wi-Fi module so it can be pretty much programmed by using Arduino or any other format that is uh, being supported by ESP so that we will check out in our other upcoming videos where we will try to like change the format of this device and we will try to integrate into our home automation system so that's all for today guys thank you thanks for watching hope you have liked this video please hit the thumbs up button if you have liked it and if you have not subscribed yet you can definitely subscribe to my channel for latest updates so thank you see you next time with the next video till then goodbye